which we're going to give that money to our, our charity, the Veterans Dental Health, because as you know, the VA will not give any dental health unless it's an emergency, unless you are going to die from an infection in your mouth. They will not help you. Unless you're 100% service connected. Right. Because if you have an infection, like if you they got give shot you in antibiotics the head. and send you to a screen. Yeah, they just, they That's why these things cost me 2800 bucks out of pocket. Mm. And see, oh, I got a better place for you. It's done already. Well, if you need to get them replaced. But the other thing we're going to do that is, is with the Veterans Voter Registration Drive, Where's the that same at? table that so we're having that guy petition, called, uh, we're going to register people to vote. Smile again. Anyone who's yeah. like, I don't know if I'm registered, or anyone who wants to say, I'm not registered, like, we'll register you right now, right yes, here. And we can do that. Like, there's nothing illegal. Uh, it sounds kind of funny. GLP. But well, no, guys, we, register, we can register anyone to vote for any party. Yeah. And you made it, by God. I thought you died. No. Registration. To bring them, but oh, just to keep things on the up and up, I'm only going to give them to people who signed so Republican. Like because exactly. I'm not going to say that early. there's crooked uh, people in the Republican Party, but you know, I'll say I know that, that personally, not exactly I was you know, I'll running say things it. for a party like that, and somebody handed me a stack of Democratic voter registrations. Those might not find their way to the mailbox, so we're going to keep it on the up and up. And like, that's really, happened to me. Every single person who registers, their their registration will get in. Because we need these people. We need those. We need those signatures mm -hmm. on, the, on the record. But so, like I was saying, you're a CPA. I don't know what I was saying. But so we're moving forward. So that's the direction we're taking things in. And we do want, you know, once we're with the VFWs and we're gathering more people, then, you know, we're going to have the T-shirts and. Uh, we'll go out to rallies yeah, it's like about together. together, and when they yeah, see 15, 30, 50, 100 black t-shirts that say disgruntled veteran, or I love my disgruntled veteran, that does make a difference, because right now we just, you know, we're not an unruly mob, but we are just a mob. Yeah, you know, you had said last week you talked about the shirts, and you know when they're going to be available? Because, you know, as soon as I can get the team on the get the shirts printed, they'll be a better region. Like, and I'm going to go talk to the lady because on her wall is a great big picture of her shaking hands with Ronald Reagan. So I'm pretty sure she might be on board with that. And so maybe I can work out some sort of deal. Because when I originally talked to her, you know, I was trying to, I wanted to sell the t-shirts and I had, didn't, hadn't quite found the focus that, you know, that we need to make a difference. You know, it ain't about making money. I want to give them to away. And, you know, when, when we're out doing right. stuff, I sort of right. want to give them away with a $10 donation. But for every one of our vets that are out doing that, we've got to make sure they're wearing for the, the civilians that are working with us, the non-vets, get them in the I Love My Vet t-shirt or something. You know, get them on that so that when we're out, they can see who we are. That's, like, one of the things they like to use is something called color revolution. And they always use it, and they always pick a color. That way you can see the numbers and the force. The only reason I'm picking black is because out of respect for those soldiers who fell to give us the right to protest. So, well, it's, well, sure, because we're like, this lack of overseeing. Things are under distress, but it's not too late. Well, Actually, what we ought to do is... I feel really good about where we're going, where too. things are moving. What, what, what are you going to build? Build. Well, this is what your What is it you're going to you're gonna put on the front of the T-shirt? Well, the one will say, the ones for the veterans, yeah, just, just say just Donald veteran. And then the ones Let me make a suggestion. Let me make a suggestion. On any T-shirt... Have a P O W M I A insignia on it. It's small on the breast right up there. Well, we can, but like, that's like an added expense. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that costs more. Well, because it just depends on how much money we bring in. Because mm -hmm. you know, we're not about turning a profit or anything. We're about changing this country back to what it was, and what it's supposed to be. Right. The promise of this country. You know, because we went astray about a hundred years ago. We jumped off track. And they, that 16th Amendment that was never ratified was put into place. You know, because in 2001, a federal judge said, you know, there wasn't any ratification in the correct number of states. I might have been ratified. But still, they check some of the numbers. You don't want people to look at them. Don't cut off the cash cow. Right? Or the... 
So, to get it to turn this into an actual... Yeah. Oh, well, no, to, to file the paperwork, it doesn't cost a pen. No. Once, but see, we can't collect any money or buy anything or collect a single signature or do anything more than what we're doing right now until we file that paperwork and get that, that serial. Okay, but then when we get that serial number, we can also where'd you get that, Jerry? Get the motion. Uh, what's your name? Okay. The lady who gives it. You weren't here last minute, were you? The lady who gives a talk of medical stuff to sell them. But I got some. You got a pen and a piece of paper? Uh, no. So, well, the next step, yeah, that, I mean, all that does is that'll get t shirts printed. You know, so we're looking, you know, we're providing for donations because. You know, we do need to put out some kind of little pamphlet or a better one, or if not just a flyer or something. It's got a lot of discussion in there about jury nullification. Did she sell this one too? No. You can buy those from here for two dollars. Oh, sir. Well, see, I don't know. We have two guys with the experience right here. They can maybe tell you what the five seed does to the land that stuff. I mean, it's not a lot on the but it's one. Nation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right there with you. I am absolutely right there with you. Um, yeah, you can even, you know what, if you weren't to uh, write the average of two of Or no, well, I mean, you could give it to the patent yeah, to make yeah. it an actual yeah. 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 And, and so I'd be prepared to do that. Sure, all right. Unless something disastrous uh, happened to you. <laughs> Sure, that's awesome. Leave my house and my shirt. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. We can work it out. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll let you know because, like I said, I'm going to file and we're working on the final wording. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, there's a few semantics that I want to make sure that there's no questions left. But that's what I'm going to do. There's a few semantics that I want to make sure that there's no questions left. But then, yeah, if not next week, then Monday morning of that next week. So then, we can, because I do want to, the day we're going to file, I want to, like, have a press release ready to, you know, I'm not saying that anyone will do anything on that press release, but we'll send it out to all the things in town, and we'll send it out to the radios and stuff, and we've got a few contacts in the feed of Freedom Speaking School, so we can get a member, and, you know, I'm sure that might not probably be me, but anyone who wants to, can, you know, we can get people to call into these radio shows, and talk about, you know, the local shows, they don't have to take anything national, so it's not a national campaign. But we do, I just want to get I don't think there's any other issues. They'll send you a list of all. You can look them up online. But you got to send them a check. They won't pay credit cards. Yeah, he's the one. Are you a PC? Race, color, creed, sex, gender, and everything else, but they won't give it to the veterans. You know, I mean, I have a question. Um, my mother has a personal friend that lives kind of somewhere in the very, um, and uh, he is um, a veteran from Korea. I don't know. I think, I think he's Korean War. Um, he's having some significant problems, something about how when he came back and he was injured, and Nixon kind of did a decree that had it served a whole four years that they had whatever dismissed him or whatever, uh, then you didn't get any benefits at all. Um, so even though he, he uh, even though he is actually, you know, did serve and everything, he can't get benefits. Right now, um, he, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, he fell and crushed one leg or ankle or something, and he can't walk, and he can't even get access, and they won't give him a wheelchair. And the guy's like a freaking mess. And, you know, he's not getting hard to survive. And where's he at? I think he's, I, I could ask my